The way that I photograph is pretty much just a documentation of what's going on. I don't think I'm a crazy, perfect composer, like I don't do anything that's that artistic or that crazy. But I think that like what's the strength of what I do is a lot to do with the amount of memories that I manage to capture. I'm sure that most photographers, that's what they do, but I feel like that's what I mostly do. I tend to like everything that's happening and I want to survive forever, I just want to photograph. So I feel like if I keep immortalizing that, I will have like histories of things that I went through. Most of my inspirations are not in contemporary books. It's very rare that I feel inspired by a book that a contemporary photographer or artist did. I find that it's a lazy way of being inspired and it's an easy way of just being part of the mass. So basically I tend to like go around bookstores and just pick up random books. I buy lots of like photo albums, like families photo albums or like single photographs, books, anything that I've, that's what I'm usually in terms of photography get inspired by. A lot of the inspirations I've had, especially in the past, was to do with movies. Now, today, if I look back on what brought me to the aesthetic that I have, it's definitely coming from the movies I used to watch. I used to be addicted to movies ever since I was a teenager. So I think that that's probably um, like one of the main sources of inspiration for me too. Able Zine started because, I mean, I always made zines and like do my own publications and for a while I used to do like uh, parties in this uh, billiard hall, like a pool hall, this. it was down the street from my house and one day we had this zine fair and the zine fair was, it was, ended up being called Eight Ball just because we were in a billiard, we didn't really know what to call it, we didn't want to give any sort of name with us, let's just do it. The billiard died, but I wanted to keep doing the first, so now I'm still doing the first in different pool halls. So that's how it started, really. <laughs> I think it was fun. People enjoyed it. I really liked the set we did. And yeah. I love the radio. I think they're doing a great job. Yeah, it's, pretty, it's been fun. It's been real fun. You see Ray? Yeah. Can you point to Ray? Yeah. <laughs> to Ray. Having like a community or a scene that's been around me has definitely influenced everything. From the like concept of a zine, like to the style of the zines, very much influenced by all the people that are around me. I think that that's why I also tend to like try and get people that I want to inspire me constantly around me in order to produce better work and in order for them to feel inspired by each other because I see how they can balance and help out each other. That's what I tend to do. Ever since, People like Nathaniel or Adam, the way that they make zines are very much like on the Xerox machine. That's something that I used to do more, but I abandoned since I learned how to use InDesign. And now they brought me back to it because I realized how much easier and more like direct and more interesting it is to do. And the way that that looks, it's great to me. That's what I wanted to look like. I know that it's a struggle, I know that it's hard. It's hard to pay rent at the end of the month. It's hard to like not be able to pay for so many things that people around me, especially in New York, I see they can. But at the same time, the fact that like I'm doing something every day that's helpful for me, it's helpful for the people around me, and I see so many people taking things from it, that's all I care right now. And I think that the definition of success for me, it's today, like whatever I'm doing is like, I don't think I can go any, I mean, I'm sure and I hope I can go any further, but this is to me, it's already like a big success where I'm at now, I think. Mm -hmm.